To assemble this eBay, you're going to need some parts that aren't included in the kit. The main one is an altimeter. Um, and there's only two altimeters that we sell at Apogee components that fit. And they are the straddle logger uh, CF. Um, there's a difference between the straddle logger and the CF. As you can see, the CF is smaller. This is the old style. We don't sell the old style anymore. We only sell the CF, which is this version right here, and it will say Shredder Logger CF right on there. Uh, the other one that fits is the Altus Metrum Easy Mini, which is this one here. Now, I'm going to uh, show you how to put this one on. Um, the difference in the, these two is this one uses a, um, well, backup. Um, the other thing you're going to need is a small battery, and this is a 400 milliamp hour LiPo battery, and we sell these at Apogee Components, and you need something this small, um, so I do recommend that. Um, it does come with a little connector on it, and that little connector goes to the battery charger, so you can't cut that off. Um, the nice thing on the Altus Metrum, this little plug plugs right in, and it powers the whole device just like that. Now on the Perfect Flight Straddle Logger, there's no port for this connector. Um, so you have to put wires into the side, into the terminal blocks. Um, so we sell a little pigtail um, JST connector like this, which allows you to plug in the battery right into that. Now I have two bare wires I can plug right into my altimeter, and that will power the altimeter. So if you're using the CF, you need to get this as well. Um, you're also going to need some igniters. Um, we recommend the Quest Q2 G2. Um, they are difficult to obtain at the current time. Hopefully in the near future, they'll be readily available again. Um, so if you don't have these, an E-match will work. E-matches are regulated by the federal government, which is why we don't sell them. Um, and you could also make your own igniters. We sell bare nichrome wire and quick dip, which you can dip them and make your own. Um, and also, people have also used Christmas tree light bulbs where they break the glass and use that little tiny filament on the inside as the igniter. Um, so there's a number of options that you can use for igniters. You're also going to need some string, um, and then just this is just regular cotton thread. Um, you're going to need about a 7-inch long piece. You're going to need a disposable rubber glove like this. Um, we're going to use this to make the uh, ejection canisters. And we're going to cut off the finger and fill them with a little bit of black powder. And that's going to become our ejection canisters. Now black powder, you're going to need that too. Uh, we don't sell that. Again, that's regulated by the federal government. Um, black powder you can buy at a gun store that specializes in muzzle loading supplies. So look in your uh, neighborhood for a gun shop, and that's where you're going to get it. An optional item that you could get is a quick link, and I think I talked about this in the last video. Um, this allows you to attach uh, your shock cord to the base of the eBay a little bit quicker. This is optional. You don't have to use it, but it comes in handy. So that's all the materials. Um, go ahead and also download the instruction sheet from the Apogee website if you are just interested in this rocket. See what materials you're going to need and what other tools you're going to need. You're going to need some small screwdrivers and some masking tape and some glue. And all that's listed in the instruction sheet. And it's eight pages, um, so you don't have to watch these videos. You can just read the instructions or vice versa. You can watch the videos without reading the instructions. And so that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to build it without using the instructions. Hopefully I'm going to follow along fairly close, but I, I do things a little bit out of order because I don't like waiting for glue to dry. I want to have do something while the glue is drying. So I might go out of order a little bit, but for the most part I'm going to follow the instructions. So in the next one we'll start, I promise we'll start building. <laughs>